BKFC won on June 2nd in Cheyenne, Wyoming. We opened our heavyweight tournament. It started with eight fighters. Now the final four remain on Saturday night. You will see the two semifinals. In the semifinal, Mr. Maurice Jackson, Mr. Sam Shoemaker, Mr. Arnold Adams, and Mr. Joey Beltron. First, I'd like to bring up a fighter who has my broadcast partner on the, on the commentary, Tony Tarver, called a one-hitter quitter, a one-punch knockout win to advance to the semifinals versus Eric Prindle, the former Bellator world title challenger. Everyone, please welcome Sam Shoemaker. How's everybody doing tonight? All right. All right, all right. All right, well, uh, you know, I expect everybody to tune in on Saturday. Uh, you know, uh, last time I was very fortunate to uh, be able to be a part of this, and of course this time too, and uh, you can expect the same out of me. I'm gonna come out and I'm gonna produce some fireworks. It may not be a one punch knockout like it was last time. You know that comes every now and again. You know and that's great. But uh, I promise there's gonna be a highlight real finish. You won't want to miss out. Appreciate everybody. Thanks for coming out. Hey Sam. He had the honor. And we were talking about this earlier. The first ever legal sanctioned regulated bare knuckle fight. He opened the court on June 2nd in Cheyenne, Wyoming threw down against a very accomplished fighter in DJ Linderman, a Bellator veteran, and he came out with a very clean face without a scratch, in fact, I think. He told me earlier this is the fight, this is the sport that he was absolutely born for, that he was built for. Everyone, you will see him in the final four. Please welcome Mr. Arnold, AJ Adams. How we doing? Luxie for having me. Thank you, Mr. Feldman, uh, Mr. Beltrain for taking the fight. Um, I'm here. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Speak with hands. There you go. Fight that was largely viewed as fight of the night was actually the heavyweight tournament alternate bout. And in our production meeting, I told everyone this is probably going to be the fight of the night, not because I'm particularly smart or insightful but because I knew the two participants, Tony Lopez and Joey Beltran. Joey and I were together in Bellator as a UFC veteran. He absolutely threw down. He won the alternate fight. Rico Rodriguez had to withdraw from this tournament due to injury, and that opened up the spot. So everyone, please welcome the man who did have the fight of the night at BKFC 1 into the semifinal, Joey Beltran. Um, I just want to say thank you to everybody, uh, Biloxi, Mississippi, uh, David Feldman, of course, for putting on this show. Um, you know, I just want to wish everybody luck and uh, that we get out of here with no injuries, get back to our families because that's what really matters. And then we put on a show. Tune in on Saturday, pay per view, you know what to do. And uh, you know, our fight's going to be going to be bananas, so <laughs> tune in for that shit for sure. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, Joey. Another fighter I'd like to bring up and bring him up out of the audience. He had an outstanding performance. Woo! He is back again. Everyone, please welcome Reggie. Go ahead, Jr. It's actually Reggie Easy Barnett. <laughs> <laughs> but um, first of all, I want to say thank you to Mr. Feldman for uh, bringing me on. I am original. I went to the tryouts in Philly. Yes. I fought on the first show. Yes. And I'm so grateful to be back here for the second one. Uh, if you missed the fight, I put on a masterpiece, and uh, this one right here is going to be even greater because they're starting the 135-pound tournament. So on Saturday night, I'm going to solidify my spot and prove that I am the man to beat at 135. Yeah. Yes. That's all I have to say. Next, I'd like to bring up a fighter, and I told him earlier, I said, you're, you're one of my favorites. I'm so honored to be able to commentate his fights. Had a tremendous run in the UFC. He retired what I thought was early from MMA, and I'm so happy he's back in combat sports, especially happy. He is with us now in BKFC. Everyone, please welcome Chris Lytle. Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank everybody for being here. This is a brand new sport in a way, but it's really old at the same time. But uh, being legalized, it's new, so everybody here is helping make that happen. Really appreciate that because. You know, this is something I want to be part of. You know, I've been t calling and trying to get people to let me be part of this because, and I said this earlier, uh, but you guys probably didn't hear it, but I mean, the good thing about this sport is people still actually think this is a fight, because it is. 
You get in like uh, the MMA or boxing, it's, it's an athletic competition where they're trying to out jab somebody and score points. It's not a fight, it's a contest. This, these are fights, and I love it because that's what people want to see. They want to see two people come and throw down, and that's what we have here. And that's what you guys came to see, and that's what the fans want to see. So I'm excited to be part of this right now. I'm excited to be able to be in the ring with this guy next uh, couple of days from now. So um, I don't really know what's going to happen, but I know we're both going to come out there. My, my game plan is to hit him really hard, but I talked to somebody. I think he's got the same game plan, so that sucks for me. But we're trying to hit each other. Um, and by the way, uh, police officer down there, correct? Yes, sir. I just got to let you know I'm a full-time firefighter, so Ooh. there's a little bad blood there, too. Now, I got a little question for you. You know, people always ask me, what do policemen and firemen have in common? They both want to be firemen. You know what? You know what's true? That's all I got for you guys. I appreciate you listening to me babble for a minute. Thank you. Outside the heavyweight tournament, we have a very intriguing heavyweight fight. Dale Soapy, who actually fought, is one of the original eight in our heavyweight tournament on June 2nd. He returned, gets the fighter who told me, not only did he fight Eric Butterbean Nash, he actually defeated Eric Butterbean Nash. He'll be making his BKFC debut in the heavyweight, and on this heavyweight bout. From Philadelphia, everyone, please welcome Jamie Campbell. Doing. Happy to be here. Yeah, that's about the highlight of my career was uh, defeating Butterbean at the uh, Philadelphia Spectrum. But a uh, tough guy, he kept coming, four round king, and uh, I was fortunate enough to come away with a victory. Um, and it started out in the amateurs, went into you know, tough man's, had a successful career in, in tough man competitions, and then uh, turned professional. I actually was a performer, a policeman, and uh, I entered the uh, World Police Olympics. And it's, it's full-time fireman and full-time policeman. And uh, I won the gold medal in 2008 for, uh, for boxing for, uh, for the World Police Olympics. So uh, I'm just happy to be here. Thank David for having me on the show. There's a lot of talent up here, and uh, I'm fortunate to be a part of the show. And hopefully uh, I put on a good, good fight. Thank you. Another intriguing fight on this card, UFC and Bellator veteran, he won the Ultimate Fighter season number two. Kendall Grove making his bare knuckle debut. Gets the fighter who I love this. He told me, he said, all the pressure is on him, it's not on me. It's a huge opportunity for him, BKFC debut. Everyone, please welcome Bruce Zabramski. Thank you everyone for your support, I appreciate it. Uh, Chris, Chris, yeah, Chris seems to think I'm fighting him, and uh, thank God I'm not. But, uh, but I just, uh, I appreciate Mr. Bowman for this opportunity. You know, I, I really appreciate it to be a part of the sport. I'm fans of everyone up here, um, personally actually, so it's just an honor to be on this fight card. I know everyone knows who Kendall Grove is. Uh, everyone in Virginia knows who I am. Uh, a lot of you in this room know who I am. But I guarantee you on Sunday morning, everyone will know who I am. And uh, that's about it. I appreciate it. Thank you. And uh, my biggest fan, Felony, Crazy Horse. Speaking of whom, so he's a fighter who made a name for himself, one of the first Americans to go to the great late Pride FC in Japan, had a great run there, really a legend in MMA, now in BKFC. Everyone, please welcome Felony Charles Bennett. That's in the dictionary, so it's not a curse word, right? Oh my god. Jackass. Oh. All that. How about doing bad? Just happy to be here. Thank you, Mr. Dave, for having me here. Uh, it's, this is nice. Uh, I, I don't know who uh, my opponent is. Pretty sure you're such a bitch. Uh, Kevin's gonna knock you out. But uh, thank you again for having me here. <laughs> thank you. Hey, 
and, 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 and if, you know, Kendall doesn't, you know, decapitate that guy, uh, you know, after I beat my guy, uh, that guy should fight me. Felony. Uh -oh. Charles Bennett. You understand, Bennett? Never heard of her. Oh, heard of his wife. Oh, Felony Charles Bennett. Felony. <laughs> Our main event, two outstanding women's fighters, set for 125 pounds, capping off BKFC2. First, I'd like to bring up a fighter, professional boxer, making her bare knuckle fighting championship debut. Something she told me, which I'm really impressed about, she did not enter a boxing gym until she was 24 years old. That's phenomenal in achieving the success she has. Everyone, please, big round of applause, Britton Hart. Um, yeah, there's so many things that I just want to begin to say. I mean, thank you. The fact that we're standing here, I mean, I know this is my opponent, but we are females that are headlining Woo! this historic event that we're fighting for this diamond belt. I couldn't be more excited to be here. Um, we are also pioneers for the sport. We're setting the foundation for what, you know, some of the greatest have done for us, and Dave Feldman has brought this dream, and I am about following your dream. That's why I'm here um, and showing people that you can make it. And I mean, it was kind of something that I wasn't going to say, but I thought of it earlier and it's just, it's crazy. I'm meant to be here. I know another fighter said it, but this is where I am meant to be because I tell you what, I fought on the same card as Bobby Gunn once upon a time. I was boxing and I remember looking at him and it was crazy before the weigh-ins and I remember seeing him and I said, I'm not going to get knocked out by this girl. I promise you I'm going to go in there and I'm giving them a show. And I wish I could go back in time and change it and say, I'm not going to get knocked out. I'm going to win. I'm going to win. And I would have came out with a different result. So that's what I believe here today. That's what I'm thinking that Bare Knuckle, the new era of fighting championship, I think we're all here to win. Um, I'm going to come away. Like I said, the first statement I remember hearing, um, you know, there can only be one queen bee. And, uh, I had that nickname, so you know, here's to one queen bee going forward. So thank you guys again, everybody who's watching. I promise that people keep using the word fireworks. There will be fire set on Saturday. Our final fighter, our final speaker we're going to hear from is a fighter from Australia. She entered BKFC1 already as a legitimate star in MMA through Invicta through the UFC. She took out Alma Garcia and she rightfully has her in the title of Queen of Bare Knuckle. Ladies and gentlemen, in our main event, Beck Rawlings. Woo! Okay. Hi, um, I'm not really a big talker, <laughs> um, but I'll do my best. Um, I guess if your nickname's the, the Queen, um, mine's not a nickname, I was given that, I earned that. I went out there and I put on a show in the first uh, Bare Knuckle event, um, and I took that shit. That crown's mine. I earned that shit, so that's the difference. Um, and we'll find that out on Saturday night, the difference between Woo! pro boxing and Bare Knuckle fighting. And I'm the queen of this shit. Woo! The in Saturday yeah! night. Thanks so much to Harris for hosting us for a press conference. The weigh-ins are still coming up today. Media and attendance, of course, fighters are available for one-on-ones, as is our president and CEO, Dave Feldman. Everyone, again, Saturday night here in Biloxi, Mississippi, BKFC2. You can see it live in the United States, Canada, and around the world on pay-per-view. And those of you in the region, we strongly encourage you to attend. I'm Sean Wheelock. Thank you, everyone, for attending our BKFC2 press conference. It's not a game face. It's bad. I can't do it. It's, it's hard. Is that or no?
Facebook? Yeah. Love it, Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Yes, yes. Get it, ladies. Main event. Tell us to build it up. Main event. Almost game time. Woo woo. Friday. <laughs> that was on somebody's Facebook. Girls, you're done. Let's yeah. shot for sitting in the middle of the Bridge Hall of Fame with a belt. Huh? Everyone got the shot? All right, y'all. Thank you. We'll, we'll get it back. Right yeah. back. We'll get it back. Right here. Perfect. Thank you. Oh, so is that the commission? Beautiful. 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 Beautiful.